I am giving away a copy of Black Ops 4 for a console of your choice. In order to enter, what you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to the channel, turn on your notifications, leave me a comment in the comment section of this video telling me why you want to win with your Twitter handle attached, and follow me on Twitter. That's it. You do those five things and you are entered to win. Don't forget to leave your Twitter handle because that's how I will be contacting you if you're the winner. If you don't have a Twitter, you gotta make one. I'll be DMing the winner at the end of the month. Good luck, guys. Is it Ghost 2? No. Is it Ghost 2? No. Is it Ghost 2? No. It's not fucking Ghost 2. It's just not. What are you, stupid? You actually believe Infinity Ward would do such a thing? Oh my god. All right, guys. Welcome back. The rumors are floating around unsupervised today. I don't know where people make this stuff up from, man. It's like people, after a while, they just get so bored of what's currently out that they just start grasping for straws. I'm sure most people know by now, but in an Infinity Ward employee, not just any employee, but the senior communication manager, this girl here, her name is Ashton. She's not the community manager. I don't think Infinity Ward has a community manager. Whatever happened to community managers, speaking of that, that's a topic for a whole nother video. But man, if only we had a community manager nowadays, even if they could span across all three Call of Duties. I, you know what, I right now, right here, right now, I volunteer to be the official Call of Duty community manager. I'd probably do a better job than anybody that Activision could ever hire. But getting back to what happened today, this girl that works at Infinity Ward has been tweeting out a bunch of stuff, a bunch of GIFs and images and all types of content having to do with ghosts. So what do extremely bored and currently let down COD players do with this? Of course, they take it as some kind of subliminal message, a teaser, a hidden sign that Ghost 2 is going to be the next game. This girl also especially got this attention when Charlie Intel, the fellows over at Charlie Intel tweeted about how they were looking forward to what Infinity Ward was going to produce in 2019. She replied to the tweet with a thinking emoji. Charlie Intel, man, you don't have to retweet everything. It's just a thinking emoji. It's not a sign. It's not some kind of hidden message. But of course, they retweeted this and a bunch of people freaked out and now everybody's got their tinfoil hat on. It's dumb, man. It's just dumb. Like, you know, it's it's not Ghost 2. It's just not going to be Ghost 2. They, they wouldn't do that. Why wouldn't they do that? It's because Ghost was not very popular of a game. And I know a lot of people are going to go in the comments saying, I loved Ghost. I love Call of Duty Ghost. I would love a Ghost 2. Yes, I agree with you. I happen to be, I don't know if I would even call it the minority anymore because I've seen so many comments since I've started doing YouTube and I watch other videos too, where people are always saying how much they love Ghost. But generally, the community just did not receive that game very well. And if they were going to do a Ghost 2, I really think it would have come after Ghost ghosts don't you think you know it's like the name ghosts is just it's it's like plagued you know it's it's the red-headed stepchild almost of the call of duty games at least the recent call of duty games the ones on the current generation of consoles i would actually say that the true red-headed stepchild of call of duty is probably world at war because that game was just like in a whole nother universe man it was just there will never be another game like world at war but as far as current gen games go i would say ghosts is probably like the outlier the one that people don't really hold in the highest of regards even with the advanced movement games lumped in there too. You know, all in all, I just, I, I don't think that Infinity Ward has a lot to gain and Activision has a lot to gain by cracking that story back open, even though I know we all want to see what happened with that campaign cliffhanger. That was not fair. I was hoping Infinite Warfare was going to be Ghost 2. I think a lot of people were too, but it's just not going to happen, man. Like I, I would put, I would put my entire life savings on the line it will not be Ghost 2. And of course, after all this hysteria started going around today, Charlie Intel did put out another article. They quoted the Kotaku reporter Jason Schreier, Schreier, I don't know how to say this guy's name, but he's known to be an industry insider and he responded to a thread saying that Call of Duty 2019 is not Ghost 2. That's all good. I'm fine with that, I guess. I mean, like I said, I would like a Ghost 2, but I don't have my hopes up. I don't think we'll ever get to see what happened with the story and I don't think we'll ever get another entry into that series. But I didn't have to read this Charlie Intel article, you know, to tell me that. I think that most people could kind of put that together on their own. So, of course, the question on everyone's mind now, I don't know why we do this every year, man. Like, why is everybody already so hyped up about this? It's January, you know, it just turned 2019. If you adjusted a human life into a one-year lifespan, you know, Black Ops 4 basically in human years is like 20 years old right now, if that. But I get it. We're bored. Everybody gets bored nowadays. Everybody wants more. Everybody wants to know what's the next big thing coming. We're, we, we enjoy the anticipation leading up to a thing more than we enjoy the actual thing itself. But now it's just got everybody talking, 
what's the next game gonna be? I'm gonna give you my prediction right now, man. You guys let me know down in the comments below what you think, but I'm telling you right now, putting all my money on the line, it is a Modern Warfare game. Whether it's Modern Warfare Zero, a prequel to the Modern Warfare series, or Modern Warfare 4, a sequel to the Modern Warfare series, I would say it's most definitely gonna take place in that universe. Infinity War knows what they need to do. They know what they need to do in order to bring fans back and get people on their side again. They wanna get back to the top of people's list. People are disappointed in Treyarch this year. And rightfully so, because Black Ops 4 has launched as such a incomplete and rough around the edges mess. And like I said in my Infinite Warfare video that I did a couple of weeks ago, it was such a smooth and good game. Like, you compare that to the launch of Black Ops 4, night and day, man. It was just night and day. So I really think that Infinity War has a big chance to make a big comeback here. And what better way to do it than with Modern Warfare 4? Everybody knows and loves the series. It's a safe bet. It's the best way to go. But that's it here, guys. Just wanted to address this topic quickly. Don't believe it. It's all bullshit. We know this. We do this every single year. It always turns out to be fake. It's too early. You know, it's January. It's just too early for any of this stuff. I could see if like maybe we are in March or April, but not this early. So you guys let me know down in the comments right now. Would you like a ghost to would you have liked a ghost to it's not going to happen but if it were to happen would you be happy with that and what do you think the next game is going to be you guys let me know down there and of course as always we'll get a conversation going i thank you guys all for watching the video if you enjoyed it remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content like this follow me on twitter link is down below and i will see you dudes in the next video love you bye